Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Dr. Charles Wood, and coming at you from Duquesne University. Today, we'll be giving you some questions that a recent graduate might face when interviewing for that information security position. Now, information security is very, very hot right now. A lot of people are hiring a lot of people. So let's start. First off, what are the three basic tenets of information security? The first is uh, confidentiality. The idea is, of course, that you want to protect the information from the people who don't belong having the information. But then the second part of that is availability. You want to make sure that the information is available to the people who need the information. And the final leg of this, there's a three legs, is uh, integrity. So uh, integrity means that you are trying to keep the data correct so that the data stays the same way as it was when it was entered, unless someone changes it on purpose for a reason. Those three tenets together make up a CIA triangle, where you have confidentiality, avail uh, integrity, and availability. All of them are important. Too often, security managers focus on confidentiality and ignore the availability. And uh, that, that, uh, that doesn't work either. You need to address all three issues all the time. Okay, the second question. Uh, that uh, uh, you're going to get. What is the most common weakness inside organizations? And the answer to that is well-meaning employees. Believe it or not, you're way more at risk from mistakes that people make when doing day-to-day -day tasks than you are from an outside hacker. So people who throw away sensitive information without shredding it first, people who post things on their site, people who answer emails that they shouldn't answer to, or send secret company information out to competitors uh, not even knowing that it's a bad thing to do. To get around this, you need to train your people and uh, uh, constantly retrain them so that they are aware of what is expected of them. They don't come naturally. If, if I call up a competitor and say, hey, can you send me that program you were working on? It looks really cool. I, the person I'm talking to will probably say, sure, why not? Um, you might want to say, but wait, we don't want our programs getting out. You know, so so the training is very important. Okay, and then uh, uh, the question that they might guess, ask is, how are you going to stop people from hacking into this? And the answer to that, believe it or not, is you are not going to stop people from hacking into you. People get hacked, big organizations, all the time. 3,000 to 6,000 hacking attempts per day, and it's growing. Per day. That means that if you are 99.99% effective at stopping hacks, you still get a hack every month, every other month or so. About 10 hacks per year. It's going to happen. Your job as a manager then is to protect the information once the hack does occur. So people will get through your firewalls, they will break your passwords. The question is, what are you going to do then? And that's what an information security manager is supposed to address. Okay, um, how do you manage this then is the next question, right? Because the management is very uh, um, important that, you know, to, to uh, implement changes organization-wide that will enhance your security. Okay, now, traditionally, many organizations assign security to the computer department and said, you know, okay, go away, geeks protect our system, we're going to be over here doing business, you go protect our system, and those people are the ones that get hacked the, most often, and those are also the ones that uh, uh, end up with a lot of turnover in their security department. Uh, the uh, idea of a security secure system requires top-down management, where management implements procedures and policies that can protect your systems. If management does not do this, you will be hacked more often. You will not be able to, to guard the data the way you were supposed to, and your, your organization is at risk. It's important for you to communicate this to the management. And then the final uh, question is, how would you secure each and every system in this organization? And the answer there is, you really wouldn't most of the time. So every system has a cost that it would require to secure it, a probability that a vulnerability will be exploited and then a cost to determine how to prevent that vulnerability. If the cost is more than the system is worth, more than the system is generating organization, you wouldn't secure it. You'd say, well, we're going to get hacked on occasion. 
you might secure it a little bit or mitigate the hacking a little bit. And every once in a while, a hack's going to get through. That's not necessarily a horrible thing if it costs $10 million to secure a system and you're generating $100,000 a year off that system. You're not going to secure that system. You do the best you can, but you do it with the resources that are available to you. And you have to make a decision as managers which systems need to be secured and then how to secure those systems given the resources that you have. Okay, well, thank you very much for your time. Uh, thanks for checking out my channel. Uh, hit the subscribe button on the bottom. We're always adding new interviews. And check out my Amazon books, also in the link at the bottom of the description. Thank you very much.